Good to have you with us, Bawa. Good to see you too, my brother. All right. Uh, let's talk about the chances of the Black Galaxies right there in the Chan tournament. They play Madagascar today. Uh, do you believe that they can actually go all the way, get all three points later today? Thank you very much. And it's a privilege once again to be on your platform to yeah. preview the Black Galaxies game that is coming later today against uh, Madagascar. I think um, the Black Galaxies have prepared very well so far as the Chan tournament is concerned. Like I said last week, they started very early in terms of their preparation. They camped in Egypt where they played some couple of friendly games uh, under 20, the Egyptian under 20 side. They won by two goals to zero. They proceeded and played a friendly against no less a team but Al Ali, one of the giants of African football. They won by three goals to one. They then traveled all the way to Algeria and played another pre tournament friendly against a uh, tournament host that is Algeria. That match ended goalless. They played some couple of low profile friendlies that didn't come onto the public domain. But the last match uh, they, they played, that was actually the match that ended abroad. It was between Black Galaxies and Mozambique. Uh, the match didn't end well. So if you follow the preparation of the Black Galaxies, you have no scintilla of doubt that they are well prepared for this competition. It started in 2009, and the Black Galaxies, they, uh, they were known as local Black Stars then. They went all the way to the grand finale, only to be defeated by DR Congo. In 2014, again, they went all the way to the finals in South Africa, but they were defeated by Libya. This time around, they have another goal at that uh, particular competition. And they are in Group C, a very difficult group that you cannot underestimate. A group uh, constituting defending champions Morocco, as well as Madagascar and Sudan. But looking at the current crop of players that Coach Anu Walker has assembled uh, in the team, it gives me some kind of relief and hope that they have what it takes to take the three maximum points against yeah. their uh, Madagascar mm -hmm. after today's encounter. Because, like I said some time back, there are some couple of players who have had a lot of experience yeah. relative to treatments with the senior national team, the Black Stars. You have a player like Daniel Efrie Vanier. Anytime he steps into the Black Galaxies team, he always produces magic. He always produces the numbers. He always scores goals for, for the team. His mm -hmm. contribution has always been top-notch. He oh. had the privilege of being named among the final squad of the Black Stars in the just-ended Qatar World Cup. Today, he's in the squad. You have experienced players like uh, David Abagna Sandan of Real Tamale United. As we speak now, he's in the squad. We have the captain himself, Glatzin Awaku. He picked up an injury uh, during uh, training, but this time around, the morale booster in camp is that uh, Glatzin Awaku is back and fit, ready to play against Madagascar. So, look. All right. Okay. Looking at the team, yeah. uh, at the end of the day, they have what it takes in terms of quality, in terms of experience to overcome their Madagascar counterparts. And the first game is always crucial in any tournament, which very, very I think true. they have put the skill to produce the three maximum points. Very true. We look forward to that game between Ghana and uh, Madagascar. We, knowing that the first game is very important, we have some other strong teams, uh, contenders, in that one, there is Senegal, there's Ivory Coast, and there is um, the host, Algeria. We know that Morocco pulled out because of some uh, issues between Morocco and Algeria. But three powerhouses still in that tournament, Ivory Coast, Senegal, and uh, Algeria. Um, how far will Ghana go? Because, yes, they also have an experienced side. We can't take away the fact that they have a mountain to climb if they want to get all the way to the finals. If you want to beat or if you want to become the best, you need to compete against the best. You need to overcome the best. 
So I think even though you've mentioned the likes of Algeria, the likes of Senegal, the likes of Libya, and what have you, they are all there, agreed. They are all doing well. But, but the Black Galaxies are also a force to reckon with when it comes to African football. So I, 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 I know those teams are also uh, coming into the tournament as strong contenders. Likewise, the Black Galaxies. But the Black Galaxies are going into this very tournament. Having at the back of their minds that they have never won the trophy since the inception of the tournament in 2009. Mm -hmm. They came closer in 2009 in the first edition. They came closer in 2014. 2014. This time around, it's another chance. For them. And Coach Anu Walker has said they, they're coming into this uh, tournament with one aim, which is to win or annex the trophy at the end of the day. And mm. like I said, looking at the preparatory matches that they have played, they have played against one of the best sides in the continent. That gives us some hope as Ghanaians that they can go all the way to clinch the title. All right. We'll see how far Ghana can go in that competition, starting off with their game against Madagascar. But thank you very much, Bawa Mugis, for joining us this morning on the show.